for shows. Uh, weatherman saying that the winds are looking pretty good tomorrow morning, so I'm uh, planning my early morning fish and I was going to show you what sort of procedure I go through so that you can also try and implement rather than just go out and uh, make it up as you go have a little plan so uh, as you can see here the weatherman saying it southwesterly winds at 7 a.m. in the morning so I'm going to do a 5 a.m. to 7.30 sort of area so we're looking five knots from the southwest so good good start there also you can see that in the morning tide is running uh, out so we're going to a low so that's well it all affects how to plan so I'm thinking of hitting good old Osborne Point so given those I well, knowing that the wind is coming from this direction and that the tide is going out which generally goes in that area that way so because I know uh, fishing this spot a lot uh, that's the way things are going to happen so the boat is going to sit uh, mainly in an up slightly that way direction so it all affects what your planning is so I'm going to target some snapper I'm trying to catch a snapper finally uh, in this area it's been a while I have caught them here before uh, I've caught some big ones here or in this area 70 centimeters a couple of them so I know they do come around this spot patrolling up and down uh, the Scarborough foreshores just got to be there at the right spot at the right time sort of thing so of course I'm going to burly up uh, so that's why all this directions and planning all affects how you're going to sit so you're you know the burly is going to go out the, cu the current way here so it's going to go that way so what you want to do is feed your burly somewhere so if we sat down here for example you know the burly is going to run somewhere like this and you'll be sitting that you know with the back of the boat that way as well anchored up if you anchor about here you'll get your flow of burly trail across there and entice hopefully a snapper who's coming past uh, the other option I'm looking at is the, about here I know there's a, there's a nice bommy here that you can't quite see I do like to sit here the current won't be so strong in that spot, but uh, it will still have a nice, uh, well, it'd be waiting, you wouldn't have any sinker on your line at all, you would be just bait and floating. Sometimes I even put a float on so I can keep it off the bottom, keeping away from vermin like the uh, stingrays and catfish that like to feed off the bottom there. Uh, so if I sit there as well, um, or around this area I will obviously float the burly trail across the front of that bommy so that's the plan rig up for a snapper um, that'll be just a 3 -0 hook with I'll use um, probably herring or a bit of winter whiting really small ones and just float it out the back wait for those big fellas to come along uh, whether I go here or here is I'm still thinking of but maybe I will start there anchor in that spot because uh, yeah I'm, I'm after a big fella I know I can get smaller ones down here in Brim um, just really want to try and get a nice size snapper for, for a change it's been a while another thing I wanted to point out too was that if we go here I've been keeping a record over the last five six plus years of fishing around in certain spots and recording the catches so I know now that Osborne Reef if we look at the snapper 
my snapper and I was born reef here that I've caught four in the past and seven in the past in April and June. Tomorrow is May, so I'm still a donut in that spot. In theory, and I've been hearing that others are catching the snapper around off North Point, off Scarborough there. So they should be there. I need to change that figure from a donut, I think. So that's the plan. Go out there and sit in that spot and float some snapper loving things. Oh, actually, too, I've got some squid heads that I've kept from catching squid the other day. So I'll be floating a squid head and a whole whiting probably on some gang hooks or some snell hooked, 3 O snells. So that's the plan. Well, I'm out here, set up like the plan, but the current, strangely, is not going the way I expected. It's trying to take everything towards the port. It's okay. I'm sitting like I'm expected. The southwesterly blowing me straight to the northeast area. But uh, I would have thought the current was going that way as well. Very strange. So I've been set up since quarter past five and nothing's happened yet. I've heard a lot of fish swimming around me, jumping. I suspect it's gar doing their early morning little floating around the surface thing. But nothing big. I've got, what, one squid, squid head and uh, whiting out on the lines waiting for the big snapper to come along. The burly trail's out with Benito and the squid jig. Just in case there's some squid around. I don't think I'm far enough out for the squid. Should be just sitting uh, on the rocky parts of the reef. But Osborne has a few little rocky bits that come out from the exposed rock area. I'm basically sitting straight east of where I was, well, off Osborne. I thought I'd come to the spot where I've caught the 70s. But uh, nothing has taken yet. But we're in the window. I have a, a, a theory that the snapper only bite around here while the sun just starts, well, first light, and then just starts coming over the horizon. So maybe one sun length, one sun circle diameter over. It's the only time I've ever caught the snapper around here. The good ones, anyway. So, still got time. I'm set up and ready. Did I say I was, I was set up since quarter past five? It was dark. There's just a crack of light on the horizon over there. But now we're in the prime time. This is prime snapper time. First light before sunrise. I'm just waiting. Come on, snapper. Okay, so just an update. It's the hour mark. I've been down here for an hour now. And I'm at zero. Zero fish, zero anything, zero bites. Don't know what's going on. Maybe the conditions are just too nice for fish to bite. I was reading that they were saying that the snapper like rougher conditions. You can see out there that we've got very nice conditions. Hardly breeze. It's probably less than five knots, a couple of knots from the south southwest. Still got some bite time though. So I'm still hopeful. Something will come along, but with a lack of action. I don't know. Not even a shark. I had I was hoping for a little shark. Something. But um nothing yet. You know, we've still got another hour. Give further updates later. There's the rocks at Osborne Reef. Uh, Osborne Point and the reef. So I'm sitting out from there. That's Shield Street reef down there couple of kayakers out 
Very nice to be on the water. A little bit of a bite in the, a bit of a chill in the air, but not much happening. Likewise. This is the Rigols we had going this then. A float about my height, yeah, or two meters above the bait. Supposed to dangle down during the in the darker times, the darker period of the morning. Just dangle down and look like a squid. There's a nice squid bait down there. Uh, it looks like things have been chewing on it. This little stuff. I'm going to take that off now and let it go down. Well, I should say there's a sinker there too. The idea was to hold it straight down, but not on the bottom. And keep it off the bottom and getting stuck or with stingrays and things around. But I'm going to take the float off now and see what change that makes. The other line there has got a whiting on it. Same sort of setup though. It's on a gang hook system. Uh, same little sinker down the bottom to keep it down. Got a float up higher to to um, keep it out of the, off the bottom and getting snagged. But I'll give this a go now. Just change one up and see what happens. Well, as you see the sun poking over Morton Island there. We haven't got much more time. That's right. We've still got a good bite window. I've pulled anchor. I think it's quarter to seven. I've had no bites and nothing happening. So I decided to pull the anchor and drift a final few minutes or the last half hour. See if that will change anything for me. Always a risk when you're drifting to get snag on the bottom with no floats, but hey, we'll see what happens first. I'll worry about that later. Well, fish shows. It's been two hours uh, and I've got zero. Zero bites, zero action. Was my plan wrong? No, I don't think so. This might have been a a no bite day get some of those every now and then I certainly have caught plenty of fish in this spot before so I don't know uh, baits were all local bait and squid and whiting caught in the same area so not even a nibble not even a bite nothing so I think the fish are all on the holidays They've gone on holidays at the moment or they're sleeping in something because I think everything was uh, should have got something so that's fine that's what we what happens when you're fishing you don't always come back with something especially if you're targeting something because you know I can go and get squid or winter whiting here at the moment but I was targeting a snapper I wanted to just get my first snapper for the season but I'm still at a zero that's all right. It just means I need to come out again and keep trying. And I will until I get one. Fair enough. Till next time.